In this short video, I'll be showing you how you can use your CAS calculator to arrange data in ascending or descending order. In other videos, I'll show you how to de determine the five-figure summary where you'll be able to work out what the median Q1 and Q3 values are. And in another video still, I'll show you how to draw box plots. This one, however, just ordering those numbers. Okay, let's get started. First up, we're using exercise 9C from your textbook, question 2, and only doing part A of that. As always, with our calculator, I recommend that we start off with a new document. That's home, one, nothing to save in this particular one, and then four, four lists and spreadsheets, and we're ready to go. We can then move it up to the name, and we'll call this number. After that, in goes the data. Once we've got that, it's always a good idea to go back and just check that you've actually input that data correctly so there's no mistakes. And we're OK there. We now move up to the name cell. One above that will highlight the whole column. From there, we click the menu button. One for actions. Six for sort. We need to, uh, in this particular one, we want to assort in ascending order, so we're happy there. If we didn't want to as assort in ascending order, but descending order, we'd highlight that and, and highlight the uh, descending. We're happy with that, however. We click the OK button, and now you can see that the numbers there have actually are in ascending order from 0 down to 8 ready to be transferred across. Much quicker than trying to do that by hand, particularly when you have a large data set. A nice short one for you. 